Before we start soldering the keyboard, let's talk about switches. We have different full-size version of the Cherry MX switches available. One is the Cherry MX Standard, the other one is the Cherry MX RGB. I'm gonna explain you the difference between the two types later in this video, because they both have different lightning options. But let's talk about the feeling and the color code of the switch first. First of all, we have got the linear switches and afterwards we talk about the tactile ones. The two most popular linear switches is the Cherry MX Red and the Cherry MX Black. The difference between the two is that the Cherry MX Red has a much lighter activation than the Cherry MX Black. Both switches are available in silent options like the Cherry MX Red Silent or Black Silent. These feel similar to the standard ones, but they have a noise reduction system integrated in the switch, which reduces the bottom out and the top out noise. In addition to these two linear switches, we have got the Cherry MX Speed, which feels similar to the red one when it comes to the spring force, but it has a shorter activation point. These have been the linear switches, but we also have got the tactile switches, like the Cherry MX Brown and Blue. The difference is that the Brown has only got a tactile point when you press the switch, and the Blue has a click, which you can barely hear without a keycap. So when you attach the keycap, the click sound will be much more hearable. Besides these standard variants, we also got special switches, which I'm gonna explain in a different video, because they're kind of rare on the market. So let's talk about the different lighting options of the switches. Like I told you, we've got the Cherry MX RGB, and with the RGB switch, the LED is directly mounted to the BCB. It's a so-called SMD LED, so, with this kind of switch, you can start soldering immediately, because you don't have to care about the LED. From the standard switches, you have also two options. One is called PCB mount, so you solder the switch without a frame, and then attach the 3mm LED on the top of the switch. And the other one is called plate mount, and the plate mount switch you need a frame to actually adjust the switch within the keyboard and then again attach the LED on the top of the switch. In addition to the standard variants or to the full size variants, we've got the Cherry MX low profile switches available in red and speed. As you can see the difference is from the height so the low profile are much smaller or thinner and so they're much thinner and lighter keyboards possible than with the full size version. Unfortunately, you can't use the same PCBs because the mounting of the switches on the PCB is different. So for the low profile versions, there are special PCBs required. 